So we have covered in the previous programming videos how to iterate through the dictionary and how to use those dictionary keys and values and print them if necessary. Now there's one more little thing that I want to show you before moving on to order dictionaries and that is the fact that you can use the dictionary in command in a way that it evaluates to a boolean and you can make decisions based on it. So look at this example here. So we have a dictionary with um, two key value pairs so you got size and feet weight 16 pounds now these keys you can actually type print size in a and length in a and these will evaluate to true or false now since size is very much in the dictionary that evaluates to true and that one length which isn't in the dictionary evaluates to false so let's have a look at ordered dictionaries now Order dictionaries are essentially dictionaries that maintain order from the point of creation onwards. So in other words, you can think of a dictionary as something that gets arbitrarily, randomly kind of shuffled. The only way to retrieve items from it is not from some index position. It's, you know, you use the key, you get the value. You use the key, get the value. Well, um, in terms of order dictionaries, this is a special data type that has the ability to access things via an index. Now, generally, if you're really interested in index, you'd probably use lists, but in, in applications where you need an index and you still wanna use key value pairs, that's where the ordered dictionaries um, come along. So here are the functions that are in ordered dictionaries. In the video that's coming up with ordered dictionaries, I'm going to actually use iterate through all the functions in regular dictionaries all the functions in ordered ones and then we'll look in the functions that are unique to ordered dictionaries and see what it is that they do so how you create ordered dictionaries is as follows you're going to need to import collections so you can either do it um, just import collections and then collections dot ordered dict but this is probably the easiest way so just go from collections import ordered dict and then create a dictionary using sort of the following format now when you check what a is it's really convoluted i mean you got these brackets here which are the same as in tuple so it's as if you got a tuple on the outside and a list and then another tuple so really my advice given the imports and given how unwieldy they look when you uh printing them like this i would only use order dictionaries if you really need them but right now i want to just show you quickly what it is that they can do that standard dictionaries can't so this is your normal order dictionaries same example as before a equals order dictionary so we got name zeus role god home olympus now you have to use the enumerate function and with a for loop and this sort of tuple because you're iterating through both key and value you can actually print the index key and value of a dictionary so this one would output at index zero you got name zeus at index one you got role god index two home olympus so that more or less covers the special features of ordered dictionary so let's quickly take a look at them in code before moving on to sets. In this video, we are gonna take a bit of a closer look at ordered dictionaries. Now, this is a fairly tangential topic, so I'm not going to get into great detail, but one thing I do wanna show you is, you know how we've been using this dir uh, function to sort of print out all the methods that exist within, you know, the dictionary type. So this is what you can do to have those printed on your screen. So you basically create or a dictionary and then you create a variable for the functions. So you can just print out all of the functions in a dictionary and it should be pretty straightforward. And there it is. That's all of them. Now this is a list of functions. So you can actually go for f in dictionary functions print f so you'll be able to get all of them um you would even be able to go f dot doc and this would be 
the lengthy doc string that comes with each function explaining what it does. And what else can we do? We can actually figure out which ones are unique uh, in terms of ordered dictionary functions. So if you go for fn, I guess we're gonna go in ordered functions. So this is these are the functions that are in the ordered dictionary, and then we can say if f not in dictionary functions, then we can print f, and then that little bit of code is just gonna tell you these three are the unique functions. In fact, we can just kind of hide that. These three are the unique functions in the reversed dictionary. So yeah, I hope that shed some light in terms of the DIR functions and in terms of looking into um, methods that are inside different data types in Python. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at ordered dictionaries and we are going to create two ordered dictionaries that have a different order but the same key value pairs and we're going to test whether Python treats them as equivalent. So if we have B, ordered dictionary, and yet we can just maybe swap the places of two pairs, control alt L, we have that extra comma that's redundant. You can actually print and test A double equals to B, and it's false because they're not the same order. Now, Let's just say you created C, and that was going to be the same dictionary, but obviously the unordered type. But we're going to just write it in. When we first write it in, we're going to write it in the same order. So if we say name Zeus, next we're going to have role. I got to be careful because this is going to be identical character to character. God, age, old. So Zeus, lower, upper, you can actually test. Now, this C, this is an unordered dictionary in a sense that after you do some operations, the order will change. Python doesn't actually care about the order being saved in any particular way. But right now, as it is written in the memory location that it's using right now, this order should be the same as that. So when we test A double equals to C, you kind of learn that Python does treat order dictionaries as much as possible as your standard dictionary. Now, obviously, if you in your standard dictionary, if you change the order, this test, the test of equivalence, should still remain true, right? So old, I don't know how I copy this. So age is old, control, control Z. Aha, uh -huh, I overwrote the name age old name Zeus we can get rid of the age old so we change the order we can have C and D and you can check C equals to D should definitely be true there you have it so I just thought that that was an interesting thing to play around with if you change the order of order dictionaries they're no longer equal to each other if you have unordered dictionaries that happen to be in the same order as an ordered dictionaries, well, that comes out as true. And for unordered dictionaries, well, doesn't matter how you create them, as long as they have the same items, they are considered identical or the same by Python.